Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be seeing if we can run an in-place upgrade on Windows 8.1 to Windows 11. Now this is skipping Windows 10, this is going straight from 8.1 to 11. If you remember, a few months ago, I did a video where I tried to do an in-place upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 11, straight, no in-between operating systems, and it didn't work. It technically worked, but it wiped all of our settings and all of our apps and only kept our profile, which I got in the comments was not really an in-place upgrade. So in this video, we're going to be seeing if we can figure out a way to do a true Windows 8 to Windows 11 upgrade in place, deleting nothing. So the first thing we're going to do is just so we can see if it deletes any of our apps, I'm going to go ahead and download Google Chrome and just have it installed. This is going to kind of see, okay, is it going to keep our apps and stuff? I'm also going to make a new folder on the desktop just called test just to see if it keeps our files. And then once Chrome installs, we're gonna be inserting the same ISO that I used in the Windows 7 video, which I will show that in a minute. Okay, so this unsupported PC's ISO is simply a Windows 10 ISO with the install.wim replaced with Windows 11's install.wim. So it allows us to go through the Windows 11 setup as an unsupported in place upgrade and still upgrade to Windows 11. I've made a few videos on installing Windows on unsupported machines before, so you should definitely take a look at that if you're interested. You'll see that this will identify itself as Windows 10 in the setup until it gets to where it says ready to install. It'll say install Windows 11 Pro. Again, like I said, I've made a ton of videos on making this ISO before and everything like that, so I highly recommend checking them out if you're interested in how this ISO was actually made. But this allows us to get through any requirements. And I'm not actually sure if any Windows 8 computers are compatible with Windows 11, so we're going to have to do an unsupported version anyway. So I'm just disabling getting updates because that takes quite a while to actually find the updates. Since this version of Windows 8 is not activated, I'm going to go ahead and take a Windows 11 Pro product key from Microsoft's website and paste it in there. This is just a generic key, it's not actually going to activate anything, but we're going to do that. So just to show, like I said, we do have Chrome installed, here's all of our you know basic Windows 8 apps and we do have that test folder on our desktop and I'm just going to create a new text document called hello and we're just going to write test inside of it and so right here it does say that we can install Windows 11 Pro and I literally just got rid of it but it did say we can install Windows 11 Pro and keep our personal apps and files so already we're ahead of where we were with Windows 7 so it looks like it's actually going to let us do a direct upgrade from Windows 8.1 to Windows 11, just totally skipping over 10. So I know that it says installing Windows 10, but it is actually installing 11, that's just the modified ISO thing. We'll come back to this once it is upgraded and good to go. All right, and here we are after the upgrade. So the first thing I noticed is that obviously graphics drivers are not installed, even though VMware Tools is of course running. Um, this is because VMware Tools for Windows 8 is installed and not Windows 11. Um, I, I guess we can try reinstalling because I thought that they were the same. I thought 8.1 and 11 use the same VMware Tools. But there is also another thing that I'm noticing and I'd like you guys to take a look and see if you can figure it out as well. Yes, Internet Explorer is in our taskbar. Windows 11 was supposed to completely get rid of Internet Explorer, but somehow... It is here. I'm actually not sure what happens if we press on it, if it's just going to open Explorer, because I thought they actually were fully removed it from the operating system. But uh, yeah, everything is running really slow, and I'm not entirely sure if it's because of the fact that there's no graphics drivers or if it's the upgrade that's just slowing it down. Um, I'm hoping that repairing VMware tools will kind of update it and make the graphics drivers work here, um, but I highly doubt that. Uh, let's actually try and open Internet Explorer. It opens something and then closed and then opens Edge. So it looks like anything that's supposed to open in Internet Explorer automatically opens in Microsoft Edge. Which, I mean, I guess that makes sense because it's supposed to be the new replacement for Internet Explorer. But I just think it's funny that it's still pinned to the taskbar. Um, but yeah, it handled the installation of Edge completely fine because the other machine, Windows 8.1, didn't have Edge at all. Oh, this is interesting. The food and... That's the wrong app. The uh, food and drink app is still here. 
all of the Windows 8 apps like health and fitness. Let's open food and drink real quick. And wow, this still opens as like one of the original Metro UI apps with the uh, settings here. The option to go full screen. I mean, I didn't even think this UI was still a thing. I thought that we left this back in Windows 10 technical preview days. Wow. Ah, there we go. There's our display drivers. Okay, this makes it a lot better. I have not seen this these options since Windows 10 technical preview. I thought we got rid of this. Um, let's try uh, health and fitness maybe after we close the installation wizard. I just want to see if any of the old eight apps will open. Let's just try money. Um, yeah, I mean, I I have not like I said, this UI, I have not seen it since those eight point one days. I mean, this is it is this is taking me back. But I mean, everything just seems to work perfectly fine. I mean, we have our Windows old folder, which of course has all of our old Windows eight apps in them. So yeah, I guess it is completely possible to upgrade straight from Windows 8.1 to Windows 11. Do I recommend it? Probably not, because it is really slow and it is an unsupported installation. But, I mean, it is still really cool to see it actually take place. And the fact that we can upgrade from 8.1 to 11, I mean, I, did, I wasn't, I'm not surprised. But it's still really cool, like seeing those Metro UI apps just working. I mean, it's incredible. So, yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here, as I do all kinds of, of different technology videos, including device restorations. Um, definitely let me know what you think about upgrading 8.1 to 11, and if anyone still has an old 8.1 machine, if they're going to try to upgrade it to 11, because I think it could actually be worth it. It's really interesting. And, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.